In this video, I'll show you the first fruit set off my jujube trees. I'll take you through the flowering cycle on to the first harvest. I purchased these trees from an online nursery in January of 2020. They were shipped as bare root trees. Here's a picture of what they look like. They were transplanted into a 20 gallon grow bag shortly after purchasing. Uh, by the way, I previously uploaded a video with more details on how they were planted. I'll put a link to that video at the end of this one so you can see how these trees were uh, transplanted. For the soil mix uh, to fill these grow bags, I used one part organic soil mix, one part cactus soil, one part peat moss, one part sand, and one part native soil. And I also added uh, two parts of perlite and two cups of azomite with some mycorrhiza. Here's what they look like after transplanting. By April, both trees were out of dormancy and had put on uh, some flower beds. They did not put on a lot of growth, but the trees were uh, producing healthy looking leaves and were doing fine. Although both trees managed to develop flower buds, no fruit wound up setting off their uh, first blooms. The flower, the flower buds bloomed, but they wound up uh, falling off with no uh, fruit production on any of them. The following season, once again in late April, both trees started to develop flower buds. They developed quite a few buds. Uh, just about every branch had a good amount of uh, flower buds developing. The other tree, the uh, Lee jujube, had just come out of dormancy, but it also had a few flower buds that were just starting to develop. Here's what they look like in May. The flower buds on the long jujube were just starting to bloom. This variety requires cross-pollination from another variety My other tree over here, the Lee, is listed as a good pollinator. It's a self-pollinating variety. The flower buds on this tree had swelled but had not bloomed. By mid-July, both trees had put on more growth. 
They had also put on several leaves and were doing really well. The long jujube had also developed some fruit. There was a good amount that was just starting to develop on the majority of the branches. It also had several flowers that were still in bloom. As far as fertilizing goes, I use an organic 10-10-10 granular uh, fertilizer. I only applied the fertilizer twice a year. And because these trees are still young, I use the light application, about half the recommended amount. The first application was in early spring and the second during summer. Also during the growing season, about every other month, I applied a liquid organic mixture of uh, fish emulsion and seaweed. As soon as the trees uh, mature, in about another year or two, I'll change the fertilizer schedule and increase to the uh, recommended amounts. The Lee had not put on as much growth, uh, but it too was doing well and starting to develop uh, fruit. The Long was the first to start developing flower buds around mid-April. The Lee started to develop flower buds towards the end of April. Of these two varieties, the uh, Long appears to be the uh, faster growing tree. Another point I'd like to make is on watering. The soil mixture that I use for these trees is a well-draining mix. Although, although these varieties are fairly drought tolerant, I found that they were drying out much faster than some of the other container uh, grown fruit trees that I have. At the start of spring, it was still cool in my area, so I was only watering about once every three to four days. As Soon as the temperature started to increase during summer, I gradually had to increase watering to once a day during the uh, peak summer days. I've since been able to back off watering, but these trees have been taking up much more watering than my other uh, container grown trees. Here's what they look like in early August. As you can see, the trees had set more fruit and they had put on a little bit more growth. And there were still some flowers in bloom. The Lee had also uh, set a good amount of fruit and they were developing well. A few had put on good size. Here's what they look like now. The long is uh, producing a good amount of fruit. And the majority of the fruit is uh, a bit small in size. But this is the first fruit set. I'm hoping next season, after the tree has matured a bit and has a stronger root system, the size of the fruit will improve. 
still, even these uh, small size jujubes are good in flavor. I found that if they're allowed to turn dark in color like this, they will have a sweet flavor. Others like this one here that still has a little green color won't be as sweet. It will have a good flavor at this stage, but the sweetest tasting fruit are the ones that have completely turned dark in color. Here's what they look like when fully ripe. As far as taste goes, um, I'd have to say they're similar to uh, an apple. They're crunchy just like an apple is, and, but the taste is a little bit sweeter. That is in comparison to uh, apples off my uh, golden or set apple. I'd say that the uh, Jujubee is uh, slightly sweeter. Here's the uh, Lee Jujubee. They put on a good amount of fruit, but not as many as the long. The size on the fruit, um, this one is also on the small side. Again, this is their first fruit set, so hopefully the, as the tree matures, the quality of the fruit will improve. And as with the long, um, this one also has the best flavor when it's allowed to darken before uh, picking. And as far as the taste comparing it to the long, I'd have to say that it's not quite as sweet. It does have good flavor, but the long is uh, a bit sweeter and better tasting in my opinion. I'm guessing the total fruit protection off these trees is going to wind up being somewhere over 100. Both trees are still developing fruit, but judging from the amount that appears to have set, there's quite a bit of food, uh, fruit given that these are still relatively small trees growing in containers. If you're thinking about growing a jujube tree, I would highly recommend you try it. They are easy to grow, no real pest issues, and they produce a good amount of fruit. I recently came across uh, another variety that is called uh, Honey Jar Jujube. I'm thinking about purchasing this one for uh, next season. It's supposed to be a sweeter tasting variety that is self-pollinating. I'll be sure to post a video on that one if I do decide to get one. Well, that would be it for now. I hope you enjoyed watching and until next time, stay safe, grow your own and thank you for watching.